The way that people have uh, come to uh, be my harvest workers is uh, bad luck on their part and good luck on my part. Um, I, it's like a pickup basketball game here, and I usually don't really go out of my way to uh, find people. They usually find me somehow. Yeah, I grew up in Sonoma County, which is where Lovely Share Winery is, and I got uh, introduced to the brand a couple years ago. Um, this is my fourth vintage total um, in my harvest career, um, and uh, Last year, I actually was given the opportunity to work for Fred, but I just accepted another internship. Um, I had a really wonderful internship. My first one was great, my second one um, was great. They were both in Sonoma County as well. Um, and then, so when I came down to what I was gonna do this fall, um, I had to make a decision earlier than later. Uh, I was down in Chile for the spring harvest this uh, March, April, May. Back in the winter, she was, uh, while she was in Chile, she was looking forward to her next gig. So I emailed Fred back in January. I said, hey, <laughs> you were going to hire me last year. Um, by the time I get to you, I'll have two more harvests under my belt. Uh, how do you feel about this year? And so I haven't even started. So great. So that's the earliest I've ever had somebody scheduled. Um, so I started in early July. Uh, Fred's really lucky that he has his own bottling and labeling machine. Um, so I started just doing bottling and labeling, uh, building up the harvest muscles. Um, just trying to get back in kind of some physical shape. Just like in the kitchen in a restaurant, most of the things are pretty menial, you know. It's uh, a lot of cleaning and set up and getting stuff to where they need to go. Everything comes outside, so all the bins, all the tanks, almost everything is moved outside. So when you first get started, and you're okay, harvest is a couple weeks away. The last two weeks, I've basically spent um, supervising Jennifer on the forklift, training her on the forklift for this facility and letting her clean all the bins and things like that while I've been racking and blending previous vintages stuff. Uh, you have to break out the pressure washer, uh, break out some little cleaning supplies, some scrub brushes. Um, so basically to get started, I was cleaning everything. It doesn't take too long to, to understand that and it just uh, requires um, you know, tenacious character to keep, keep after it. Uh, this is the second set of uh, press loads, so um, you know after 20 some odd repetitions through the first set, I think Jennifer's got a pretty good handle on it. It's really cool to hear people's stories and their, their familiarity with Fred and the label and um, to have that kind of community come in and really like hit my decision home, if you will. It was just a really awesome kind of like, I'm in a good place, like this is going to be a great harvest kind of feeling. Mm -hmm.